One of the hardest things that I had to deal with was the fact that as a same-sex cu couple, we had never, ever discussed it with most of our family. Um, Forty years ago, we, it was a different world. I could have lost my job, uh, I could have lost my daughter, um, it, you know, it was considered evil. And we didn't have any role models, it was never discussed. So we just didn't talk about it amongst ourselves, we just, you know. Um, and I can remember the feeling of knowing that she was probably dying and having to phone her brother. And I did not know how he was going to react. And it was unexpected to me that it didn't bother him at all. <laughs> but it was a, a different journey for me because all of a sudden I was outing myself <laughs> in a sense. And it was uncomfortable on top of everything because it was something that had never been talked about. You know, it just was. You don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, you know, God, we're gay. <laughs> you just woke up in the morning and said, I love you. And so that has required its own set of adjustments. Um, and for the first time, the stigma attached to being part of a same-sex union um, was apparent to me because before friends just ignored the fact that yeah we <laughs> lived in the same house and spent an awful lot of time together but and some of them still you can just tell when they're talking about oh yes we know that you were great friends which is the the surprising word that people always say without really acknowledging the fact um, and it was, it added to the, the grief 